fuck all these tools and batteries. This is just got the uh, drill bits, house holes, cutting oil, blah blah blah. But this Milwaukee pack out stuff is so handy, that's on wheels. So now it's just gonna come out and roll with me to the jobs. But I've spent a bit of money this week. But scrapped a lot of copper. I got like over a grand just for the copper and stuff, so went and had a bit of a splurge. That's the latest. How yeah, good. So you're probably wondering why I went and bought all those tools. Because some of those tools don't really look like refrigeration tools. Um, and the answer to that question is I've actually been working um, with a builder, um, with a, a, a company that does carpentry. Um, well, you're probably thinking, why have you been doing that? It's so weird. Um, so basically for months and months, I've been considering furthering my skill set and doing a mature age carpentry apprenticeship. Um, it's been on my mind for years actually, but more so in the last few months. And I've just decided um, to do some work to see if I like it. Now, I will 100% still be doing air conditioning and making air conditioning videos, 100%, especially more so if I'm doing a mature age apprenticeship in carpentry um, because I want to subsidize like an apprenticeship wage. So you're probably thinking, why would you do that? Like you do air conditioning, why would the hell would you want to change your trade? And it's not so much that I want to change my trade, it's that I want to become a dual tradesman and like I, basically I want my company, Merak Services, to be building an HVAC R. So um, I want it to be a company that I can get my building, I want to get my building license. So I want my company to have the building license so then I can have basically um, free reign on projects and um, instead of just being, you do HVAC, um, which I love HVAC, I'm very passionate, very happy, but I want to, um, basically I want to get my building license so I can do some building work as well. That'd be cool, that'd be hectic. Um, so that's why I went and bought all the tools. I've been doing some work um, with a carpenter. Anyway, let's go fix some aircon stuff. Okay, so I was at this unit not that long ago because it had a faulty UC7 board which was replaced working fine and then sure enough like literally a month later it stopped working um, but this time it's nothing to do with the board it actually dropped its entire gas charge I came here today nitroed it and found it was leaking where that, I just squished that, but where that sensor slides into, it was leaking on the seam there. That's the second time I've seen it. One was on an Actron and one's on a Temper Zone. Basically, yeah, where they put that little sleeve, to put the sensor in, that's the second time I've seen that happen. And last time I tried to solder it up and it fixed it, but then it ended up going again like two years later. So now I'm just cutting the whole thing out. Just rigged up a bit of, I cleaned up the pipe, like got the emery cloth, cleaned it up. It's doing a little, doing sort of a nice U turn back up. Get it done, let's go.
spot there is um, some insulation tape and I've completely wrapped the insulate the um the mister onto the pipe so they do that oh, I've crimped that but that was a little circle and you, the canister just sits in there but I um basically wrap it up nice and tight with uh, tape insulation tape so it's sitting hard up so literally like hard up to the pipe and just wrapped and um yeah basically it's nice and tight and that works fine and it won't leak whereas this one did Heat. This was originally driven out on a um, high discharge temperature, a high discharge pipe temperature bolt because it had no gets in it and it was running hot. So I'm going to check the temps and make sure the city heat is sweet. Yeah. Yeah. 